Hi everyone, welcome to the rundown for Monday, March 8th. Uh, the Giants won another Cactus League game today. It uh, doesn't mean much, but when it's against the Dodgers, I'm sure everybody cheers back in San Francisco. They did win 3-2 to two in 10 innings. Uh, Ryan Rollinger was uh, the hero along with Ryan, uh, Roger Kieschnick. Rollinger had the walk-off hit, uh, a double in the 10th inning. Uh, Kieschnick really was the guy who made a statement. He was playing right field and he threw a one-hop strike with a lot of mustard on it to throw out um, Rafael Belliard, who was trying to score from second base on a single, and then uh, Kieschnick came up and led off the bottom of the inning with a, a nice loud single, and Francisco Figueroa pinch ran for him. Andres Torres moved him over with a sacrifice bunt, and Rollinger got the two-out hit. So uh, the Giants win again. They've only lost one game so far in Cactus League play, and uh, the biggest uh, development for them really today was their pitching. Uh, the, the, the Dodgers sent over pretty much their A lineup. Almost everyone was in there, including Manny Ramirez at DH. And uh, Barry Zito gave up a homer to Matt Kemp, but otherwise looked pretty sharp. And Todd Wellmeyer had a lot of good off-speed stuff going. Uh, Guillermo Moto followed him. Uh, like Wellmeyer, they're two guys who are non-roster guys trying to get a spot on this club. Um, Bruce Bochy did say that it's conceivable both of them could make it. There are scenarios where they could both make the club. And Wellmeyer looked pretty good. Moto struck out two in his only inning of work. Uh, and we saw some good plays in the field, including a couple at first base where the Giants are really fighting for innings to cover the position right now. Uh, today, Aubrey Huff was not in camp. Um, he was out with an illness. I'm not sure what uh, kind of illness it was, but they said he's just ill. So uh, he was not here today. Uh, perhaps he'll be back tomorrow. Uh, but Kevin Franzen ended up starting at first base. Uh, he made 17, uh, played 17 games at AAA last year, mostly out of necessity when uh, Jesus Guzman got hurt, and uh, did okay over there. So they took a look at him here. He went out for infield drills early in the morning, took three gloves out with him, picked one that he liked out of the bunch, and, and he got a couple innings over there, and made one really nice play when uh, Eli Whiteside, the catcher, tried to snap throw back to first. Uh, it was way offline, and Franzen leaped high in the air to go bring it down. Uh, Buster Posey followed Franzen, got some innings at first base. He made a nice play as well. Uh, Mariano Duncan was the uh, first base coach for the Dodgers, and he sort of had to maneuver around him a little bit to catch a, an off-the-end-of-the-bat sort of spinning foul pop, but he made a sliding catch on it. Posey did. And uh, Brett Pill, the rookie who got hurt yesterday when he took a baseball between the eyes, uh, is okay. When he was in there, he finished up. So so those are some good plays at first base and some good pitching, and, and obviously the, the Giants won the game. So uh, all went well there. Um, uh, Kieschnick was really impressive, like I said. Uh, we, we all knew he sort of had a big arm, and, and, and that was a one-hop strike. So that was really a nice uh, display for him there. Uh, Aaron Rowan uh, was the leadoff man again today. For the second time this spring, uh, he worked the count of 3-2 and drew a walk to lead off the game. So, um, you know, that was pretty impressive. And uh, we'll see uh, if he can keep that up. Al although, overall, the Giants' situational hitting was not very good. They left a lot of runners at third base with less than two outs. Uh, Franzen had one ground ball on the infield that didn't score a run. And Eugenio Velez uh, drew a little bit of criticism from Bruce Bochy because he swung in a first pitch curveball and ended up... Um, uh, not being able to move the runners. So their situational hitting was not very good, and that's something they obviously will continue to work on since they need to um, be as efficient as possible in cashing in on their opportunities. Uh, one thing about Travis Ishikawa, a lot of these innings at first base are available for guys like uh, Posey and Franzen because Ishikawa hasn't played yet. He's still out with his uh, two partially torn ligaments in his left sort of big toe foot area. Uh, but he was hitting, taking BP on the field today. He's going to start running soon. And I asked Bruce Bochy, I said, is it too late really to consider him uh, for the opening day roster? And he said, well, no, he's missed a lot of time. So, um, you know, it's getting to the stage where it might be difficult. But, no, he's definitely in the mix, and he can still show enough to win a spot on that opening day lineup. Uh, one other interesting note is um, Muhammad Ali is supposed to be in camp tomorrow. I guess a number of players have gotten involved in some of his charitable endeavors, and he does a big banquet uh, with awards uh, here every every spring. He is a Scottsdale resident. I didn't even realize that. So he's supposed to be here bright and early tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., and, and I'm sure he's going to pose for about 40,000 photos. Uh, so that's all for today in Giants camp, a pretty quiet day. I'll have a Matt Keen feature in uh, tomorrow's newspaper, so be sure to look for that. And uh, thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you tomorrow.